Standing at a top elevation of 12,510 feet and holding more than 3,000 skiable acres, Snowmass is the largest of the four mountains that make up Aspen Snowmass. With so much terrain, it can be tricky to know where you should spend your time. So follow along with this video as we show you how to have the perfect day at Snowmass. For the best mountain experience, start your trip at the Limelight Hotel located right in the Snowmass Base Village. Their full breakfast buffet is the best way to start the day. Enjoy your choices of hot food, fresh fruit, perfect pastries, and more to fill up for your day on the mountain. After you're done with breakfast, you will have immediate ski access from Base Village by hopping on the Sky Cab, Village Express, or the Elk Camp Gondola. The Sky Cab, or what is known as Skittles, will give you access to the Fanny Hill Bunny Hill. Taking the Village Express lift and getting off at the mid station will give you access to the majority of Snowmass's beginner terrain. This is also where you will find a network of kid-friendly tree runs. If you have some little rippers with you, be sure not to miss out on this as there's surprises around every corner in these woods. If you're looking for some intermediate terrain to start with instead, take the Elk Camp Gondola at Base Village. From here you will have access to the majority of blue runs on Snowmass by way of the Elk Camp and Alpine Springs lifts. If you want a great combo of runs to cover a lot of ground, take Sandy Park off the top of Elk Camp lift. Connecting to Adams Avenue will put you at the bottom of the Alpine Springs lift. After riding this lift, come down Naked Lady where you can get back on the same lift afterwards. Or continue down Adams Avenue back to the base. Whether you're trying to step up your spins and tricks or just enjoy the show, you can access the terrain parks by way of the Village Express lift at the base of the mountain. From here you can visit the Lowdown Park for beginner friendly features such as small jumps and boxes, or the Makaha Park for intermediate level freestyle riding. In the same area, the Coney Glade lift will give you access to the large terrain park. This is a great lift if you just want to watch the action from above. But as always, if you find yourself skiing through the terrain park and not attempting the rails or jumps, ski to the side and not between the features as you could easily cause a collision with riders who are using the park. For those looking to ski some steeper runs with quick lift access, make your way over to Sam's Knob by way of the Village Express lift. Here you can find quick laps such as Howler, Wildcat, Slot, Zug Spite, Promenade, and Fast Draw, all from the Sam's Knob four-person lift. If you want something different and are looking for some less crowded runs, ski past the Sam's Knob lift down Campground or Slot to the bottom of the Campground lift. This sneaky corner of the mountain will give you some longer, less steep black runs. Once breakfast is worn off and you're looking for that lunchtime refuel, make sure to check out Up For Pizza. At 11,835 feet, this is one of the highest elevation pizzerias in the country. You can get here by way of the Sheer Bliss or Big Burn lifts. Enjoying a seat inside or outside, Up For Pizza's thick cut slices will be just what you'll want to keep the day going. And definitely don't miss out on their fresh baked iconic cookies just might be the best you've ever had. To get the legs warmed up after lunch, take some laps off the big burn lift. Here you'll find nice, wide, long blue runs such as Sneakies, Mixed Gully, and Dallas Freeway. For the boarders and skiers looking to ride the steepest and most technical terrain Snowmass has to offer, check out the Cirque and High Alpine areas. To access the Cirque headwall and highest elevation of the mountain, take the Sheer Bliss lift to the Cirque Palma. From the top, you can ride technical double black lines such as East Wall, Ptarmigan, AMF, and Gaudis. Without riding the Cirque Palma, you can access steep cliff terrain runs like KT Gully, Sunkiss, and Rock Island. And while this is a fun terrain for the experienced rider, take extra care in this area as this is the rockiest part of the mountain, where sharp hidden fins of shale rock can eat up your equipment or end your day early. This is especially true in the Cirque Headwall. Additionally, you can find more double black terrain off the high alpine lift. This is also the part of the mountain where you can find most of the expert-only extreme terrain double black runs such as Headwall, Roberto's, Possible, and Baby Ruth. Traversing above this terrain will bring you to the Hanging Valley. This is where you can find fun hidden terrain and great pockets of leftover snow. Frog Pond Glades will be the easier terrain in this area or drop in on upper ladder wall one or wall two for some steeper runs. 
If you plan on spending time in the Hanging Valley, keep in mind these laps will take the longest to come back to, as it requires riding both the Alpine Springs and High Alpine Lift. If your legs aren't crushed from all the shredding yet, take some time to poke around in the Burnt Mountain Glades on the far east side of Snowmass. While this area requires a 5-10 to 10 minute hike, it is well worth it. From the top, take the easy going long shot, or drop into Split Tree, Rio, and A-Line for some well spread gladed black runs. At the bottom of the main pitch, make sure to keep your speed up as there can be longer, flatter sections before the two creeks lift. If you are a big fan of finding the longest runs possible, this will definitely be an area you won't want to miss. With so much vastness in acreage and terrain, you are bound to have one long, exciting ski day ahead of you. Now you should feel completely equipped to tackle the best of snow mass. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.